Hello and welcome to this review of Vidra Video Presentation. So this costs £6 and it's an app for iPhone and iPad and I'm reviewing it on the iPad. Let's open it up. So now that we are in the app, we've got some existing ones. So here we've got one that explains just how to use it. It's quite self-explanatory. Now, this is a good piece of software and you can make quite good infographics and explainers with it. It's simple, it's fairly powerful, but it's not a complete solution. So I'm gonna take you through it. So we're gonna make a new one and you've got themes, you've got quite a lot of themes. I'm gonna pick corporate, I quite like this corporate one. Did I call it corporate? It's actually concrete. So you can tap on something to interact with it and you can resize it and you can rotate it and you can do things like send it to the back, send it to the front, delete it and flip it. I'm gonna delete that. So I'm going to use this here and I'm going to double tap and I'm just going to change it. So I'm going to put example text and I'm going to leave it in Helvetica New Thin. Now the, I find it quite tricky this. How do I how do I leave? It's really difficult to leave. So you end up having to click on something else to leave and then your text is done. So the text input isn't very good, but once it's done, you can rotate it, although I'm not doing a great job rotating it, and you can change its size. So let's just change its size. If I double tap on it again, I can edit it if I want to. I'm gonna just move this in the middle and I'm gonna show you this. So if I click down here on the slide, we've got the background, we've got the animation, and we've got the slide duration. I'm gonna set it to four seconds. And I'm going to click on this button here with the arrow to preview it. So you can see it slides in and it keeps moving and then it slides out. Now, if I preview this, you'll notice they now move at different speeds. So I think that looks really neat. What we can also do is this button here has searchable icons and the icons are quite good. So you might want to look for pen, We've got all these different things to do with pen. And let's go for this one. So again, I can rotate and resize. Let's bring that in there and I can change its color. Let's just preview that. See, I think that does look very good, doesn't it? I can set it as back or front. So if I click on it here, I can put it at the back behind this text or I can put it at the front and I can flip it whatever way I want to. I can flip it around. You can import pictures, you can add text, but you can also do drawing. So let's do some drawing here. I'm just using my finger and I can change the thickness here if I want to. And the very last thing I can do to a particular slide is I can click on this button and I can do some narration. So I'm going to do some narration now. Hello, welcome to Vidra. Here is my first slide. So now let's play this back and, and I can do some narration. So I'm going to do some narration now. Hello, welcome to Vidra. Here is my first slide. So there's quite a lot you can do with this. You know, you've got the freedom to sketch your own stuff and you can do really well with that. You've got freedom to add text. You can add text all together or you can add separate pieces of text and you can add icons. Now, the icons are really quite extensive. There are lots and lots of icons here and you can change the colors and stuff. So, I mean, I've just put pen in, but you can see there's loads and loads of stuff related to pens and pencils and things like that. Um, I would be able to find something I want Best of all, you can search quite a lot of these things. The things I review that you can use to make videos, you can't search. This one you can search. And don't forget, you can also bring your pictures. I don't have any decent pictures to put in with this. We can always change the background once we're in here. Let's leave it as that. We can set a photo background. We can change the way it animates. And the animation is for a slide, so we could have different one, different animations for different slides. You'll notice it's set the duration to the narration I did. So I can narrate for each slide as well, which I think is really 
useful it means we're not i'm not going to do a narration and it's going to go into the next slide or anything it will see how long my narration is and it will set the slide length appropriately so what we can do we can add another slide we can of course go and change the background if we want let's have um, an orange actually i quite like this belize and i can have a different animation and just going to have really simple buy And then what we can do, we can click on this export button and we can export it as a video. It saves your camera roll. You can export it as a PDF. I don't know why you would. And you can export it as a Vidra file. So we can make some really good things with this and we can knock things up quickly and we can narrate over it. So if I go up here, I've got lots of music built in that I can add, which is great. I can ch change the volume of the music. I can import my own music if I want and I can put a credit slide on at the end if I want to. So all in all, I think it's good. Is it worth six pounds? I, I don't know if it's worth six pounds. I'll see how I get on with using it, but thank you so much for watching this video review of it. Mm -hmm.